So a while back I decided it would be nice to capture some game footage directly from my consoles. I didn't really want to spend a ton of money on a device I might not use much. So enter the cheapest HDMI to USB device on Amazon. The Dasmir Audio Video Capture Cards HDMI to USB 1080p USB 2.0 Record via DSLR Camcorder Action Cam. That's a crazy long name, and I have no idea if I pronounced the brand correctly, so oh well. It was all of $9, and my expectations were pretty low. But enough talk, let's see how it works. First, I tested Smash on Switch. This is where I noticed a few things I disliked. There's a noticeable delay between input from your controller and what you see on your computer screen. If you're going to stream or play games over this, I would recommend getting an HDMI splitter so you can play it on your TV and record it on your computer at the same time. The next thing I notice is that it has some color noise. The footage also comes out slightly blurred, and you can really see it in these close-up clips. It's particularly noticeable in bright or colorful games such as Crash Bandicoot 4 or Breath of the Wild. Audio quality is only adequate. The sound lags behind the video slightly. This would be especially annoying for any voices or important sounds. You could probably correct this while editing footage afterwards, but it'd be really annoying while streaming. Visually, it's a very generic device. It has zero branding anywhere on the body. The body is also a fake metal feel plastic that's cold to the touch at first. There's not much else to say in regards to the build quality, it feels pretty sturdy, and I think the only way I could possibly damage it is by pulling an HDMI cord at an awkward angle. If I had paid more for this thing, I would call this a disappointment. The footage I ended up with was less than satisfactory, and honestly just a little disappointing. I ordered this as an experiment though, since I just wanted to see how far these cheap HDMI capture devices had come. Honestly, it's not terrible for $9. Um, but I, I would definitely go for something a little better than this if you wanted quality footage. If you don't have much money to spend and want to capture game footage though, I'd say go for it. 